Well, 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 it is Saturday, Saturday. Oh my goodness, I'm even two minutes early. <laughs> I'm still setting up a bit, but I thought I'll, I'll pop it on anyways, since, since, since I was here. So I, th I saw a few of you waiting, so I thought, why wait any longer? We can get, get started. Um, I'm holding the ring light. That's Simone. Simone, hi. I saw you and Caleb testing out this ring light and I ordered it as well. So now I'm going to set this one on here and hopefully it will make you see me even more clearly. How are you guys today? <clears throat> I hope you're good and I hope you have your painting stuff ready today. Um, I have here on my table... I've got acrylic paints. These are Windsor and Newton. Oh my goodness, and now they're all falling out. <laughs> they are very good quality. I've been using these for years, and I do recommend them. Link in the description if you are looking for new paints. And then I have a bunch of brushes here. I have a whole cup of brushes here behind, but I'm going to use these ones today. <clears throat> I don't have a specific brand for brushes that I use. I kind of just use different shapes and sizes. I like flat brushes like this one, and then these ones that are pointy. These ones are actually, actually made for face painting. I love painting with acrylics with them as well. One thing that I will say, though, is... Don't leave them in your in your water cups, especially the fine ones, because what tends to happen is when they stand in water this way too long, it's bending the tip of them like that. So next time when you're painting, it's really difficult to get those fine details. So when you finish painting, always wash your brushes really, really well can even use soap to get all the paints out. Don't leave them in the water cup because they will get spoiled. And <clears throat> what else? So did I introduce myself? I did not. I am Charlotte from London Art Nanny, meaning I run art classes in London. Surprise, surprise. And also since 2020 happened, I started doing art classes online over Zoom. So that is what I've been doing this morning. And now I'm here with you guys. We've been talking about uh, fairy tale paintings in my Zoom classes. And we've been making fantasy landscapes. This is something that we worked on this morning. I'm gonna take this one down. So I painted this together with three eight-year-olds. And we're making this fantasy kind of mushrooms and mushroom mushroom homes. And we're gonna con continue with creating a waterfall and bubbles and whatnot into this picture. But that is not for today. Today, I wanted us to practice how to paint bubbles. And I'm gonna make mine on this painting. If you remember this one? So this one I've been working on here and there and I, I keep adding to it. So the last thing that I added, if you haven't seen it already, is this mushroom. And I wanted to make this as much of a fairy tale as possible. So I'm gonna keep adding things that will make it a little bit more magical. And uh, so these are a little bit of a, I don't know, like a fairy, fairy house. And then I might add some benches or something, but today we're gonna add big bubbles on this painting. And this is something that we can practice and learn together. Hi, Viro, thank you for joining us today. Who else is here? Caleb is here. Hi, Caleb. Is Neva watching together with Simone? Hi, Neva. And uh, art is my passion. Hi, what's your name, please? And where are you from? I think I'm trying to remember if we spoke before, but we might be new to each other. Let me just get this notebook. So 
So if you saw when I was out painting in the garden, in the park actually, you saw me painting on these bubbles. So I'm gonna use this as a reference to paint some bubbles over here. Now you don't have this back painting unless you, you took part of this session. So if you want, if you have colored paper, it's easier to paint um, bubbles. But if you don't have, you could also make some of these mushroom fairy homes that we've been working on, if you're painting along. So yeah, fairy house or bubbles or a magical fantasy landscape. Whichever you prefer making and whatever you have to work with. For the bubbles, you will need um, poster paint or acrylics because you also use white. So when you're using um, white paper, it does not really work that well. Let's see, Rashid, hi, thank you for joining us. Who else? You are from Pakistan, okay. What was your name, please? My name is Shalota and I live in London, but I'm originally from Finland. To make it more complicated, my mother tongue is Swedish. So I also run Zoom art classes in Swedish. Anyways, let's move this one a little bit like that. Can you hear me clearly and can you see the image clearly? I hope so. <clears throat> so we can get started. Should have made my Viking braids today, but I kind of ran out of time. Then I was like, okay, 10 minutes left. Okay, I'm not gonna rush it. So do excuse my messy hair today. Um, to make a bubble, I'm using a lid. As you know, I always use uh, reduce recycled materials. Thank you, Simone, for letting me know that you can see and hear me well. That's perfect. The ring light is helping. I'm loving it, Simone. Thank you so much for suggesting it. Anyways, I was saying, I am using a lid and I'm gonna make the white parts around the bubbles. So I'll put that one down a bit more. Viro is asking if I'm using my new lamp and I am actually, and I think it's working quite well. It's very strong, isn't it? Um, yeah, back to the bubbles. I'll stay on point now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is always when I'm running the class and I'm doing the chat as well at the same time. I always go back and forth, but please be patient with me. So yeah, guys, if you have a colored paper, use that. You can do the fairy houses out of mushrooms or paint a landscape. And I am now gonna paint some bubbles on this one. I think I want more sizes than this, but now I only brought this one. Let's see what I can come up with. Anyways, what I am doing now is I'm taking this titanium white and I am gonna squeeze some out. I am using this type of uh, a palette, so it's like a paper one. Once you've finished with one page, I tend to cover the whole page, so I'm gonna continue here now. But then you just rip it off and you have a, a clean one underneath, which is such a time saver because I really, really don't like cleaning the palettes. When it's like dried, thick, acrylic paint, it takes forever. <sighs> but yes. I am gonna use a finer brush, this one. I'm putting some water on the brush first and then drying it off and taking white paint on the fine tip of it. And then I will paint around this bubble. A little bit here and there, I won't make the full, full circle. I'll just make a little bit here and there. And here. Oopsies. That was a little bit wide. Maybe a little bit more down there. So something that I've noticed is when you make these bubbles, 
it's fun to make a lot of different layers in different shades. Might cover that with some brown afterwards. So I'm taking a lot of water on my palette and I'm blending out the white. And then I'm gonna start adding layers and layers on here. There. Now Viro is doing a lot of, I can see in the chat that you're speaking about your, your videos. He's doing a lot of portraits. Very, very talented guy. And he made a portrait out of both me and Simone. If you want to see that. Okay. <clears throat> now you can use a bit of blue. So I'm going to blend in a little bit of this blue into this bubble. And it's almost like you can see all of, all of uh, the rainbow reflecting in the different shades when you look at a bubble. So I'm gonna add a little bit of blue, just a light, light, and you see I blended it in quite well. And then I'll add some more down here. Are you guys painting along? Vyra, are you painting today or are you taking a break? I'm also gonna take some darker, dark ultramarine blue to get a little bit of a darker shade. And I'm gonna make a fine line just around here. And down here as well. And again, I'm taking water to blend it in. I saw a tutorial here on YouTube by one lady who was very, very good at making these bubbles. And you know, these talented people, they make everything seem so simple. But when I was in the park the other day, I noticed it is actually quite challenging. And you don't want to overdo it either because it's meant to be transparent, right? So I just, that's why I'm taking my time with just adding a tiny, tiny bit at a time. These ones I overdid a little bit. See, I put a little bit too much paint on it, but it's okay. It's just a picture. Adding super fine lines here at the edge. I should find my, I have even finer brushes, but not sure where they are right now. I'm starting to like the color purple. Do you guys have a favorite color or are you more of a mix and like different shades? I'm starting to like purple a lot lately in painting. You see, I made the, the background purple as well. I made the mushroom purple. Simone is saying she loves blue. I like the combination with blue and purple. 
in clothes are like dark blue, like marine blue jumpers and t-shirts and dresses, shirts. Simone, do you ever paint along with us? Or is it more the kids getting creative? I would love to see what you paint sometimes as well, without taking any pressure of creating anything too perfect, just having fun with it. Would be fun if you took part sometime. Um, I'm gonna make a few dots here. Just because I find dots quite fun as well, as you can see in these patterns, to make it a little bit more like fantasy, like a storybook. I would love to illustrate storybooks and kids' storybooks. I find that so super fun. And uh, I have to show you one time, I have a book in the living room, a Peter Pan one. And it's it's like when you open it up, it's pop-up. You've seen that I've, I've made some videos about pop-up cards as well, because I'm really fascinated about that. And that's just kind of adding another another layer to the kind of fairy fantasy kind of thing. So I have one of Peter Pan and it has beautiful music. So when you open it up, the big Peter Pan ship is open, opening up in the book as well. And it's just so, so beautiful. Jade is saying, no mistake, just happy little accident. <laughs> Accidents, I'm just by, <laughs> like says Bob Ross, he's so funny. He's such a character. Howdy, Boss Cena is in the house. Hello, hello. How are you today? As you can see, I'm working on my fairy tale painting and I'm adding some bubbles to the mix. And I was thinking to add some shades of purple to make it a bit more interesting. I think I've made a mistake. A happy little mistake here in the middle. A happy little accident, no mistakes, right? <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> that may, looks a little bit too much like a circle, but never mind. It's a learning curve. Fun to see you all here today. Let's see, Morgan sent me. Hi, Mer Merzer. Did I say that right? Nice of you to join us. Michelle is here as well. Hi, thank you so much for joining. So many of you here today. So I am going to blend a hopefully lovely shade of purple with a bit of white and red. Let's see, this one should be okay. I'm going to have this one as a reference. I'm adding some purple to the blue just about here. And adding a bit more red to it. Let's see. That's quite dark. <clears throat> yeah, that should be fine. I also noticed when you paint these bubbles that it starts looking more like a bubble when you add more than one. So I'm going to add another one here next to it. Let's see. I think I will use, can I use maybe this lid for a small one? That could be quite a nice size. Where shall we put it? Maybe um, up here. So again, I'm taking the tiny brush and adding a bit of white. And when you are painting, remember, don't take any pressure. However, it turns out it's fine. Painting should be fun, not perfect. If you want it to look exactly realistic, we got great cameras these days. If you want to have fun with painting, paint without pressure. Now I'm blending in the white a little bit. 
with the layer. Blending that line to make it a bit thinner. And I think I will add some yellow to that one. Hey Morgan, thank you for joining. How are you today? Visual A101, lovely to see you. I'm very well, thank you. How are you today? Thank you for joining us. Now, as I'm looking at the chat, I forgot if I cleaned the brush or not. So now I'm cleaning it another time <laughs> and taking some yellow paint. And I'm gonna add some, actually, I'm gonna blend it out a little bit and add some yellow to it. And some yellow here as well. How would it look if I added some yellow to the bigger one? If I spoil it, then I spoil it. Hey, Minna Shalate, what will it on the have? Um, Ranya och Camilla, hej om ni målar. Jag vet inte om ni var med från början, men ni ser vad jag håller på med, eller hur? Okay, so Minna is in, in Finland, but she's Finno-Swedish like me. And I will stick to English now. It's just always fun to see people from my home country, from my hometown even, joining. Lisa, hey! Fun of you to join us as well. Thank you so much, Morgan, for bringing your people here. That is so lovely. Morgan is such a lovely lady. She's running a channel about, she does all sorts, really. She's a, a mother of one, and she's sharing homely videos, and you were organizing your house the other day, and she's so real about her, her life as well. Like, she doesn't portray to be some kind of a, perfect setup and then when the camera is off it's completely different you can sense from her that she's so real so that that is what I really love about Morgan's channel so thank you so much Morgan for coming over and bringing your people no Byro is asking if Minna and me if we're sisters but we're not we're from the same town and uh, I think Charlotte is a very common Swedish name. So you have Charlotte and Charlotte and the nickname Lotta and Lotte <laughs> as well. And Lotten with the N in the end. So it's a very, very common Swedish name. Okay, adding back to the painting, adding a little bit more yellow here and there. And maybe some more white. And then I'm thinking layers. And if any of you, I know a few moms are watching right now, if any of you want to do, so I have a full playlist with kids crafts and we use a lot of recycled materials from, from the household. And if you want to try any of, um, of the ones that I've posted here on the channel, I am very happy to share that both in my stories and sometimes I share it in my videos as well with, with tags to your channels, obviously, if you want to take part. I love to see how other people's uh, crafts turn out. So remember to tag me, LDN Art Nanny on Instagram, and I'll be sure to add you to either the stories or sometimes the videos as well. Is that looking like a bubble? A little bit. To make it even more very taily. I'm gonna add a little spark to it. 
So, how do we do that? Perspective clear. Do you mean uh, on the painting or on the video? I am, I've been working on getting better and better quality for my videos in general. I mean, I bought microphones, I brought the new light. If you saw the video from yesterday, I posted a review about the light that I bought. And also uh, the new internet to get a sharp picture for the lives. So I hope we are getting there. Thank you for staying with me during the, the process of getting things working perfectly. Step by step. So I had a few suggestions. I know Neva said that I should add a gray bunny, which I quite like actually. I was thinking of I could add like a um, rabbit somewhere here in the background, maybe peeking out from behind a tree or something like that. Could be quite fun. Again, just layers and layers. From the painting, okay, good. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm gonna add one of these sparks to it. So first I'm gonna have some blended out. Let's see, how did I do that? I put some like that, so it's blended out a little bit. Then I take some thicker paint and then I pull it out from the middle. So I showed this painting the first time when we made the Moomin Valley and the Moomin characters. And now I've been working on it since then. So I don't th really think it works with the Moomin Valley anymore because they don't have this kind of fairy homes, mushroom homes in the Moomin Valley. But I wanted to continue this painting. So that is why. I added it. There's a little sparkle. Can maybe make it a little bit thicker. Some longer lines on the side. Dave Johnson, hi, how are you? Thank you for joining. We are painting fairy tale paint pictures today. And it's for all ages, from the youngest artist to grown-ups, and from beginnings to advanced. So fun to see so many of you here today. It's 16 people online at the moment. And another one is coming over from Morgan's channel. Morgan, did you share the link on, on your, what do you call it, uh, community? Or how did they find the link? I'm so happy you did that. You're so nice, Morgan. Such a nice thing to do, telling your friends to come over. Morgan is amazing. <laughs> you're so so lovely thank you Morgan I can see your comment so I've had a bit of things to figure out when I was doing these online classes because as you know the couple law changed here on YouTube so you shouldn't really be making uh, content for kids anymore but I was doing some, well, that's what I do for a living. I, I run art classes for kids here in London. 
And I kind of wanted to find a way to show support somehow in the community while we're all in in uh, in, in in lockdown. And I know everyone was having a little bit of difficulties finding finding their way through it. So I wanted to come um, to take part somehow. And I thought if I make free kids classes online since I was home anyway and I didn't have my normal classes I thought I'll start doing these but then I remember the changes in YouTube and I kind of had to find a way to make it work to get around that so now I'm focusing more on painting again we did a little bit of crafting but now we'll get back to more painting and a little bit more for adults that kids can take part of. Okay, that's two bowls. It could also be some sort of, you know, in these fantasy videos and films where they have these like gateways to different dimensions and uh, they get these like bubbles on, on uh, the surface and then they dive through it. And then on the other side, they exit to another place. I like to make some more kind of, you know who else is so great at making fantasy paintings? I'm sure some of you already follow her. Her name is uh, Johnny Young Art and she does amazing fairy tale paintings. She's so good at it. And she's so inspiring for me as well. I love watching other, other artists here on, on YouTube to get inspired because yeah, that's why what I started doing mostly on YouTube a few years ago was to watch other other artists paint. This is just so inspiring and everyone have their own strengths. So that's always fun. And she does this kind of like landscapes that are out in the galaxy and stars and stuff. It's so fun to watch and like waterfalls going over the edge and then floating out in the galaxy and she's a lovely lovely lady as well always watching and commenting and being nice though her channel is very big yes what else shall we do to this picture I think at some session I should paint some sort of a fairy somewhere, maybe sitting on a branch or something. But I haven't sketched that, so I'm not gonna add it to it now. Um, thank you, Simone. Is Neva painting with us today? <laughs> no, I've never eaten them. <laughs> not these kind of fantasy mushrooms, no. <laughs> Um, it was Joyce who mentioned as well when I when I posted this painting in a couple of video, videos ago that she was so pleased that I didn't call them magical mushrooms. <laughs> I heard about them, but I never tried them, no. Let's add some more dots over here. Caleb is painting as well, that's nice. Caleb, I saw your ships. Caleb is so great at, at drawing ships and he makes them with such gorgeous details. And it's so fun to see that you, both you and Neva are so creative. Mm. Caleb and Neva have been taking part of most of these art classes during uh, lockdown and Simone even posted a whole video about them painting along to these classes. So thank you, Simone, for sharing that. And do go and check that out, guys, if you want to see Caleb and Neva painting. Simone is a homeschooling mom. So when, uh, when we went into lockdown, I bet she was a great support for a lot of moms that were new to homeschooling. And she posted videos about that as well. But now the schools are opening up, some of them, 
here in the UK. I know in Finland, kids went back to school already. Or actually, yeah, they went back to school, but now it's summer break, so it was just for a few days, I think. Um, so yeah, it looks like we are going towards a better place with this whole lockdown. Let's see what will happen during this summer. It will be interesting. Just adding a bit of more details here and there to this painting. What else? What else? What else? I quite like, in this painting, I quite like this part. The lights coming through the trees. And... Hmm. Maybe I could add some more white over here. Also, Minna was here, she was speaking earlier. I think she leaves, leaves the kids to paint. But I mean, she's got grown up kids, so not that young. And uh, they've been taking part of every single class as well, and painting and painting and doing amazing. Guys, Ronya and Villa, I loved the the whole Moomin family that you made together with the background painting. I know that you painted this already. So if you have that background painting, you could add diff different things to it now if you want. But I am so happy to see all the things that you created during these classes. And thank you so much for sharing them on Instagram, LDN Art Nanny. Because it, it just, yeah, it's just so fun to see that that you guys actually create what I'm what I'm doing over here and it's not just me speaking to myself. 18 people are here now, I'm so happy to see. And Sammy is here as well. Hi, how are you today? Thank you for joining. We painted a bit of fantasy bubbles to my painting. And I think I'm gonna make some sort of a bigger star like that, maybe here in the front, because I like the look of it. I shouldn't over, actually, should I put it on? The mushroom, maybe. I like the look of those lights. I know I shouldn't make too many of them, but it makes it look even more like a fantasy. Let's put one over here. And many posted comments about this mushroom and this whole picture that it reminded them of Alice in Wonderland. And I really do like, uh, I think it was, was it Tim Burton who made a movie out of Alice in Wonderland with Johnny Depp and all of them? I like that story and I remember reading it when I was a kid as well. So, yeah. Semi is saying, I am fine, nice drawing work, friend. Thank you. I just love painting, really. If it turns into something or not, it doesn't matter. But thank you. Um, make a green smurf. That's a good idea. Or a troll. <clears throat> troll could be fun as well. Like massive, massive feet and a tail. And also, Viro, I saw that you posted about the raindrops. That's another thing that I want to practice at one point making raindrops, water drops, to make them look really realistic. There's another sparkle. And Morgan tried out one of my crafts once. You made this, I remember. This one, right? Wait a second. This one. Morgan, if you're still watching, do you remember this? So Morgan tried to make this Batman in a live and she said, <laughs> oh, you glued your fingers together. It is quite challenging to make this one because it has, it's made out of an egg box, but it has so many different small parts. 
So it's three of those things inside an egg box, those little cones that are in the middle. And you cut out three of them and put them on top of each other to make the head and stuff. But it's actually really detailed. There's a video on my channel about how to make a Batman out of an egg box. And we also made the Batmobile in another class, <clears throat> another time. And after that, uh, Morgan texted me saying, I think I need to try these crafts out before I go on live and do them. But, <laughs> but uh, I don't think that's, I think that's the fun thing with doing arts and crafts on lives is it doesn't always turn out <laughs> the way you mean it. And that's what keeps it fun, I think. We shouldn't, I think we should never take too much pressure on creating things too perfectly. I mean, of course, it's always more fun when it turns out the way you want, but yeah, less pressure and more fun, I think. So nice that you tried it out. I have a love-hate relationship with the hot glue gun. As you mentioned, you glued your fingers together. Do you know when you use it and when you when you try to remove it, it leaves these long strings and then it gets like stuck to your fingers and everywhere. It's worse than getting tangled in, in tape. <laughs> I just really, I mean, it's, it's good. Hot glue guns are great because it, it sticks so properly and it dries so quickly. But when it gets all over your fingers, it is so annoying and those long strings, Oh my goodness. I don't know if you've seen, I made this like how uh, seven feet long, I think it was a super big Christmas poster for a school here in London. And they were having a Christmas fair and they wanted me to make a background poster, but in 3D and paper mache. And during that project, I was using the hot glue gun Oland. I posted the video on here as well during Christmas time. So like December last year, roughly. And uh, oh my goodness, the amount of, first of all, I burnt my finger on that pointy part in the, in the front of the glue gun. I kept burning my finger and then I get getting those long strings everywhere. And it was so annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, when you use the hot glue gun, be careful of the burning part and avoid the strings as much as you can. I prefer using double-sided tape when I can. But I guess there are better quality ones as well. The one that I have is not super expensive. Uh, Neva is asking if I did a bunny or a fox. I was just mentioning earlier, I don't know if you heard me, that I was thinking about doing a gray rabbit, a bunny, somewhere here in the background, maybe peeking out here. Shall we look at a picture of bunnies? Maybe I could make one, a gray one. Let's see if I can find some nice ones over here. <clears throat> Gray bunny drawing. And also maybe you can make a fun one that's wearing like a hat or something. It's a shame that Jessica isn't here. I was gonna say that Jessica made a really cute bunny painting. Oh, this one is so cute. Look at this one. <laughs> Do you like that one, Neva? <laughs> Sammy is saying, why don't you make new friends a, moder a moderator so that we could paste our links to connect with each other? It's just suggestion. How does that work? So you make a moderate so you could, could paste our links. Is it like all you can, you have to be a moderator to post links? Is that how it works? I'm not sure. But you can post links in the comment section, right? So if you go over to the comment section, if do the links not work here on the chat? Is that what you mean? 
Anyways, Neymar, I'm gonna try to paint this bunny now, okay? This is just for you, Neymar. <laughs> um, it's gonna be quite a big one, I think. I'll put it here on the side. So it has a head, like that. I'll color covering the forehead first and then paint the eyes on top. Here's a bunny for Neva. And then I'm gonna white white cheeks like this one has. Quite big cheeks like this. And this is just straight from this picture. I haven't sketched it or anything, so please don't judge me too much if it doesn't turn out perfect. Actually, you can judge me if you want. That's okay. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing these lives if I was afraid of that. <laughs> Here we go. And then let's make the ears. Just trying to cover all of that green grass from the background. And then we make the ears going, one going up here. And one going down. There. Bunnies are so cute, aren't they? There, and this one has pink inside his ears. Shall we make pink inside, maybe? I'll take a bit of red, mix it in with white, and make a very light pink. I'm actually going to put a tiny bit of yellow into it, because I like that kind of peachy color instead of pink. Might need a second coat of paint, because the background is so dark. The ears are so adorable. <laughs> Thank you, Simi. I wish to one day make illustrations for a children's book. There. And now I'm mixing a bit of pink for the cheeks. Actually, I think I need to put a bit more white. I mixed it already, so I'm taking a new brush now. I'm first going to add another layer of white to this. I use a lot of different brushes and I have them ready there so I don't need to wash them in between. And then in the end I just wash all of them together instead of needing to wash them all the time in between changing colors. Can you see this clearly? It's quite small. And then we put some pink on the cheeks. Can you hear the police cars outside? I'm not sure if you can hear it. Since the riots 
the police have been going back and forth. And I think tomorrow there's going to be riots at the American embassy. So they're keeping the police busy. Anyways, let's leave that conversation for another time. And make some eyes. Now I'm going in 10 times around in the black. I live quite central. I live in zone two in London. So whenever something happens, you can always hear about it around your area. I'm making closed eyes and it's like smiley eyes. I need some more black. Let's see if this brush is fine enough. It's almost too thick for that one. There. And a little nose right over here. And how about some um, eyelashes? Do you like this bunny, Neva? <laughs> I'm gonna show you a close up once I finish it. This is so tiny. And then a mouth right over here. I need a finer brush. She said, so name is writing. She shouted, she shouted down and she shouted down and said, yes, she is on the laptop and I'm on the phone. She said, could you also do a spider hanging from a tree? Yes, that's a good idea. She wants to add loads, go for it. And um, are you adding to yours as well, Neva? <laughs> I hope you are, but I need to finish the bunny first. I can't keep up with all the, <laughs> all the commission. <laughs> Thank you, Neva. Yes, I could add a spider. Although I don't really like spiders. Do you like spiders, Neva? They're a bit creepy, aren't they? Can we make a friendly spider? How would you make a friendly spider? How can you make a, a spider look nice? Because now we're making like cute little bunnies and bubbles and all of that <laughs> so i'm trying to think of how we can make a sweet spider <laughs> okay now we need to make a body for this little bunny so i am mixing more gray and then i'm gonna make an upper body and legs down there Put a smile on his face. Can you see the smile over here? He's smiling. Oh, and the spider, you mean? Yes, of course. And maybe like with cute little, cute big eyes. If you make eyes bigger, animals tend to look cuter. Good thinking, Neva. Okay, we need some more gray. So 
So here's the arms. He's holding his paws together like that. I think I want to give this little bunny a hat. What else could I give it to make it more fairy tale kind of style? I want some darker gray, so I'm adding black into it. And then here's the tummy. And shall we make really big paws? That could be quite fun. And then one, two, three, and one, two, three. I need to use the finer brush again to make those lines. I think I had a bit too much paint on it. I always start making too many details when I'm painting instead of just kind of letting it flow. Simone is saying it's looking cute. I'm going to make these hands a bit white as well so you can see them. The problem is when you paint on top of a dark background, it's always challenging to get it covered. Just blending in these lines a little bit. And then let's give it some pink on the paws. There. Lisa is saying big eyes is a good tip. There, one, two, three. And one, two, three. I think I need to make some of that. I need to over, paint over some of that white on the road. So I'm taking some brown and I'm making this line over here and I'll make a little bit of a shadow to it. And since the light is coming from the background, the shadow will be this way.
still covering some of the green. And as you know, guys, I can stay and paint for the whole day. So if you have finished your paintings or if you have stuff to do, don't worry about it. I'll continue a bit longer still, but don't feel pressured to stay longer if you don't have time for it. I think Ronya and Mila are a bit like me as well. They always like, Hours after we finished the Saturday classes, Minna is texting me saying the kids are still carrying on. They paint for <laughs> they paint for hours and hours after the class. So they're just like me. I just love painting so I could sit and do this for the whole day. And you guys can come and go. But I'll carry on for a little bit longer still. We're a bit over one hour now, so <laughs> Morgan is saying, we are here as long as you are. Okay, that sounds like a challenge. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <clears throat> so I am adding more layers to this bunny now. Because I don't like the green shining through. And then I'm gonna add some more of that peach and I'm taking some pink and yellow, mixing it in. Oops, I put too much yellow, adding a bit more pink and white. Yes, this is actually an even nicer color. Oh my goodness, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'll add that here in the ears. Oh wow, I really like that shade actually. Doesn't show that clearly because this is such a small, small, small detail, but I really like that. I'm gonna make the cheeks and the feet in the same. That is looking cute. Now, maybe I could give it a little bit of, I really, do you know that shop, um, In Love Art Shop, they got in contact because I did a, a review for them and they sponsored me with some art supplies. And that video actually got around, it's around 6,500, I think, views now. And they got in contact saying they really liked how the video turned out and they are sponsoring with some more art supplies. So at this moment, I'm waiting for their brushes to arrive and I can't wait to show you which ones they, they sending, they're sending me. And they have some really fine tips out there as well, so I can use them. This one is a little bit too big, too thick. And then they're sending some more die cuts and stuff like that. So I'll be doing videos for them very soon. Hmm, how's that looking? Morgan is saying that is great. Yes, it's fun that they got in contact. Another company that sponsored me once is uh, Lavender World, and they sent over a lot of lavender just before Mother's Day as we were making um, lavender sachets for, for all the moms that, whose kids take part in my art classes here in London. And most, most moms, most women like the smell of lavender, so I thought, I could do that for them for Mother's Day. And they sent over a massive pack of lavender. And that was unfortunately just before lockdown started. So I, I had to cancel all my workshops. And now I still got a lot of that lavender here in my, my wardrobe, here in my closet, my art supply closet. So even though it's in glass jars, it still smells like lavender in this art studio. And I just love that. I made a few sachets that I keep in the drawers here as well to keep, keep the smell nice. 
It's so, such a soothing smell, isn't it, lavender? And maybe that's why I like purple as well. Lavender is purple. How is that bunny? I think it might be done. Shall I show you a bit closer? No, you can't see because of the light. There's the bunny. Um, you said a spider, didn't you? Okay, let's make a spider. Ah, <laughs> I had to read that comment a few times, Dale, before I understood what you meant. You meant that you've been uh, out and you're back again. Okay, good to have you back. I'm adding a tiny bit of a gray shade here to the chin. To add some shadows. Okay, that's it. Now she said to make a spider, but what color shall we make on that spider to make it look cool and fun? Um, can we make a, uh, 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 not green, because the picture is already so green. Should we make a yellow spider maybe? Would that be strange? Let's look up a picture of a spider. Spider drawing. Whenever you want to draw something, it's always good to look at reference pictures to get inspired. Now, I really don't like spiders. I'm sorry, Neva. I don't like spiders. She's saying a pink spider. Okay, sure. Let's make a pink spider to make it look cute. But you see these ones, they look a little bit too realistic. And I want to feel good feeling about this, a good vibe feeling. So why don't we make something more like, <clears throat> like that one? Is that okay? Caleb said brown and Neva said pink. I think because the trees and the ground is already brown, if we make a pink one, it will stand out more. But Kayla, do you make a brown one and show me on Instagram afterwards? Tag me LDN Art Nanny, and I'll make this one. I'll put it down. Can you see it if I put it here? So let's take some pink. And... I'm gonna make a big body. It's gonna be hanging over here, maybe. I'm gonna have to add more white so it covers the background. And I think it was Sandy who said we should make a ladybird and a caterpillar. Green for legs, says Viro. But you think green will show since there's so much green in the background? How can we make it stand out? Maybe if we make it bright yellow. All right, here is a, the, a body. <clears throat> and then, let's see. I'm gonna take a different brush and add some darker pink. And blend it in like this. Okay, now that is getting a bit too wet. I should be fine. And then we need four legs on either side. A watermelon spider. Yeah, well, yeah, if the legs are green, then I guess that's what it would be looking like. <laughs> okay, let's see. What about yellow hairy legs? Will this yellow show on that dark background? Let's see. It might not show that well, to be honest. Oh, it does actually. Sometimes yellow doesn't really cover that well, but this looks fine. I 
I love watermelon, by the way, Morgan. I could eat that all day, every day. It's just so juicy. Maybe we should one day paint some sort of a summer fruit bowl, but with fruits with like mouths and eyes having a party or something. That could be quite fun. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five. This one is a little bit of a chubby spider. See how big that body is. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more. Six plus two, Neva. How much is six plus two? Count the legs and you'll know. Six plus two is One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. So the spider has eight legs, and now we need to give it eyes. I'm reading what uh, Simone is writing. She's saying, still playing and kids still busy. Micah has took tiles out of the fireplace. So I'm going to sort it out. Okay, don't worry, Simone. Micah is in that age when he's going to keep you busy, isn't he? But he is so adorable. Micah is so cute. Here's this one's big eyes. There. And we need to give him a smile. Do you remember Kayla, Caleb and Neva when you finish painting? Clean your brushes, don't leave them in the water, water uh, cup because it's gonna bend these ones. These fine little hairs in the brush gets bent and then you can't use them or it's gonna be really tricky to, to uh, paint with them next time. I am gonna make a different type of mouth. I need to take some more black because that didn't show. And then we give it a little smile. It's not blending out on that surface now. I think it might be too wet the pink underneath. There, a little smile. Aha, uh -huh. that is the spider. <laughs> it looks a bit strange there in the middle. <laughs> Never mind, it's fine. Michelle is saying, I'm loving the spider. Thank you so much, Michelle. Uh, Morgan, can I make you a moderator? Are you okay with that? Since uh, Simone had to take some time off. <clears throat> Let's put uh, this spider web. Now let's see. First of all, let's give this one some fingers like that. And then he's going to hang up from this tree. Over. 
just in case there are sometimes there are some 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 not so nice texts coming on you will see them if they if they show up so then you just kind of filter those people out that's it since it's a kid friendly channel we need to keep it kid friendly in the chat as well I'm going to add some white to these legs as well to make them show a little bit better. <clears throat> Thank you, Morgan. I'm putting a little bit of patterns. It looks like he has stripy socks, this spider. Morgan, is it early where you are? It must be morning now for you, right? Here it's around, what time is it? It's quarter past three. Nine fifteen a.m. Okay. Do you have any nice plans for your Saturday together with your family? I guess the lockdown is easing where you are. Hi, Supersonic. Nice of you to join us. I've been painting for a while and still going on with these little fairy tale fantasy animals. But yeah, I was saying, do you have plans for your Saturday? And I think the lockdown has is easing a little bit in your area. So are you able to do something fun today or are you staying indoors? You're feeding the baby now, okay. He is so cute, Garrison. Super cute. I can see him like using that little walker that you have for him whilst you're organizing your house and stuff. He seems to be quite a chilled baby. Here in London, it's quite grey today. It was like 27 degrees, 25 to 27 for quite a few days. So we spent a lot of time outdoors and going to the park and stuff like that, going for walks by the river. But today it's quite grey. Grey and dull. It was raining yesterday. So I think we're just going to go to the shop and do some cooking together, me and my partner. And maybe watch some film or something. But a walk sounds nice. <clears throat> what else do I need to add to this spider? Maybe some eyelids. Let's give him eyelids. Yeah, you know, Morgan, we are getting quite comfortable at home. I mean, the lockdown has been for a few months now, but I don't know, I quite like being home, to be honest. <laughs> Leaving the house is overrated anyway. I just love spending time in the art studio. I love cooking at home as well. We, do, we did go to restaurants before the lockdown, but I really don't mind cooking at home and just chilling the two of us. My partner also likes painting and drawing and stuff. So sometimes we, we just have a little wine and put some music on and paint together and yeah, just relaxed really. Still trying to cover that green, but I think I need to leave it to dry. Okay, Neva, there's your spider. <laughs> I'm not fully happy with the legs still. I might still do something about them after they dried, but I think I'll leave it like that for now. <clears throat> but guys, 
I don't want to keep you any longer. It's been a nice session and you guys have all been so lovely staying on and chatting and painting along to those of you who painted. Um, Ronya and Mila, if you painted, please do send over your paintings. Also, Caleb and Neva, send over your paintings and I will add them to my 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 story for the day on LDN Art Nanny. And, and, and. Uh, super Sonic is saying, you have better painting skills than me. Usually my paint is super runny. Well, the thing is that I use this type of paint. So this is acrylic paint and this one is very thick. I can show you if it's leftover because I've got some here. So you see it's not, the paint that I have here is really thick. So it's not the runny type. It depends on what paint you're using. It, it's not really a skill, I don't think, because you know, these are just like simple kind of like kid friendly paintings. So it's not not too much skill into it. But I think if you use thicker paints and higher quality paints, it won't be runny. Uh, Arushi Senwal, did I say that right? I hope so. Hi, thank you for joining. Where are you joining from? I'm going to start tidying up a little bit here in the background while I chat with you. And I was going to say, Morgan, you're so sweet. You're so kind. Morgan is saying uh, she disagrees. You have skill. Well, I love painting. Skill or not skill, I love painting. Thank you, though. Very sweet. Um, yeah, if you painted along to this class today, do show me your pictures on Instagram, LDN Art Nanny, and I will be sharing them on my story with a tag for your channel as well. So if you want to be shared on there, share your pictures with me and I'll be sure to add them to the show and tell for 24 hours so that everyone can see what you guys made. Because I want to make this more and more about you guys and less about me. My hair is such a mess today. I'm sorry. That's why I keep on <laughs> moving it around because I should have braided it. But hey, it is what it is. Thank you so much, all of you lovely people. To the new ones, uh, I can see now Lisa is saying a troll peeking out. Yeah, I would like to make a troll as well, maybe somewhere in this picture. But guys... Thank you so much for joining. To those of you who are new here, if I missed you on the chat, please do leave a comment in the comment section and remember to hit the like on your way out. Leave a comment in the comment section if you're new here so I can go and check out your channels as well because there were quite a few new people over from Morgan's today and I would love to connect with you properly and see what you guys are up to as well. So do leave a comment and I'll be sure to check you guys out as well. I'm scrolling up in the chat a bit to see if there was something that I missed. But I think I was quite okay caught up with you guys. Yep. Oh, Morgan, you said that the US egg boxes are different. Do you know what? I realized... Well, I have two clients in UK that I do the private classes with, one in Florida, and they had these kind of plastic ones that have like 12 eggs inside. So that one is a little bit different than the one we have here. But the client I have in New York, they had the paper version. And I think it depends what type of eggs you buy. But I know that some of the egg boxes might be a little bit different. So that's why it might not work the same way it does with the UK ones. But anyways, yes. Okay, now, thank you so much for joining and stay tuned for next video and I'll speak to you very soon. Have a lovely rest of the weekend. Bye-bye. <clears throat>